Hi, welcome to Mix and Jam, a channel about game development experimentation. Today's project is based on Red Dead Redemption. On both games in the series, there's a Deadeye mechanic that allows you to slow down time and target multiple enemies at once. My goal for this project is to try and build a similar mechanic using Unity. These are the steps I needed to follow to recreate the Deadeye. Build the aiming behavior with target detection. Create the sequence of shots for all of the targets. And recreate the visual effects. For this project, I'm using the same third person camera control from this tutorial by Filmstorm. I downloaded some rifle animations in Mixamo and implemented them using Unity's animator. I also got this model of a rifle by Uncle Ben from Sketchfab and attached it to my player. I've started building my script for the aiming behavior, in which I modify the values of the camera's field of view and the tracked object's offset to zoom in and out. For detecting targets, I've used a raycast that origins from the center of the camera and points forward by using physics.raycast. When finding the objects in the raycast, I store them in a list of transforms so I can reference them later. To build the animation sequence, I downloaded Dootween to my project. I was able to create a timeline of events using Dootween sequence, where I could easily append tweens or callbacks. So on my sequence, I go through all of the targets on that list of transforms and append a do look at tween to the character so it can look to all the targets one after the other. I added an animation trigger and interval to the sequence so that the shot and reload animation could start and finish before the next look at. To make time slow down while the dead eye is happening, I simply modify the time.timescale property. In order to make the camera movement not be affected by the timescale, I enable the ignore timescale property on the Cinemachine brain. I started adding enemies to the scene. To make the enemy hit look more realistic, I add a ragdoll behavior to it by simply using Unity's ragdoll wizard, in which you can drag all of the respective joints of the character to the window and hit apply. So in my code, I went back to the Deadeye sequence and called a function that activated the enemy ragdoll when shot. And to add a sense of impact, I used add force to the enemy's rigid body on the specific body part that was targeted. For some polish, I started working on some particles like the muzzle flash and the shot smoke. I implemented the same UI element as the game to indicate which body part of the enemy is locked in the sequence. I added some pause processing like bloom, depth of field, and motion blur. But the most important post-processing effects in this case are the color filter, chromatic aberration, and the vignette. Those three effects only show up when a dead eye is happening, so I activate them on and off depending on what's happening. I also implemented a screen shake on the shot sequence by using Cinemachine's impulse source. After a bit of adjustments, this is how it turned out. As always, the link for the project's repository is on the description below. There has been some great response to all of the videos and I'm extremely happy with all of this support. Thanks to everyone for watching the videos, it really really means a lot to me. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it 
share with friends, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And also feel free to reach me out on my Twitter if you have any questions. And until the next one.